here because right. we have, oh my gosh, is this the best running back in the 2023 NFL Draft Tank? Bigsby, he's got the strength, he's got the speed, he's coming fresh off his pro day. Tank Bigsby on the show after this. Can't wait to get to know him. We're, yes. Oof, four, four, six. This is the Auburn Pro Day. You, they can't even keep the camera on him. He's moving that fast. We have an NFL draft prospect on the show today. He is an incredible one. It's one to keep an eye on, potentially the first running back off the board. 2021 SEC Freshman of the Year and running back for the Auburn Tigers. He racked up, let me just get this right, over 2,900 yards, 25 touchdowns in three years wearing navy blue and orange. Tank Bigsby, good morning. How you doing? Good morning. <laughs> Good. I wish I, my name's Kay. I wish my name was Tank. It wasn't always Tank for you, though. It was Cartavius Bigsby. Somewhere along the way, you adopt this persona, this nickname. What's the origin story of Tank? So uh, growing up, I was in the rec league, and my mom was at the game, and uh, I was running the ball. My helmet came off, and I continued to run and scored a touchdown and I came to the sideline jumping with my teammates and she had looked at me and she said you're running like a tank so from that day forward it's just she's been calling me tank and that was like when I was like seven eight years old so ever since then I've been called tank and she was right you scored 10 touchdowns last year 25 in three years as this running back for this big school this incredible program you are clearly excited to get to the NFL and see what kind of damage you can do as a tank there when you look at your time at Auburn and those three years, whether it was on and off the field, football or otherwise, what was your favorite memory? Favorite memory was with my teammates, you know, and being around Coach Cadillac. Uh, he he taught me so much and he he just, he's so, he's a great guy in general. Like he just, he, he, he feeds you great energy. He teaches you great things. And uh, my teammates uh, just competing together, being in Jordan Hair, you know, I never forget that. That was one of the greatest moments in my life, just playing there, hearing that crowd under my feet. It, it's, John Harris is different. The crowd, you can hear the crowd shaking. Like, it's it's nice. And um, those are some of my favorite memories at Auburn. The fans, I love them. They they have your back. And uh, it's just, it's something great to, uh, to do in life. You know, go uh, go to Auburn is something that, that's, that's great. Like, I always wanted to play there. And um, it's a goal that I accomplished. And I, I love that school to death. You can tell that it means something to you. And now you're trying to go to the NFL. You go to Indianapolis, you have a great combine, but I am hearing from people I know, from things I'm reading, even rave reviews from your pro day performance yesterday. And you showed, even from the combine, a lot of improvement. They clocked you, like we said, mid four fours. You crushed it in your positional drills. What was the key to taking things to another level yesterday? Well, just just locking in, just um, focusing on myself, being me. You know, at the combine, there was a lot of stuff going on from we're doing uh, medical, we're doing testing, we're doing all type of stuff. So, you know, I could fo I was able oh. to focus on football. I was able to focus on my myself, you know, and I uh, went out there and I accomplished what I had to accomplish, had the mindset of being dominant, and I told myself that's what I have to do. So I went out there and handled my business. Thank you. Thank you. Really. And you mentioned your business. You were caught saying something about your time to make that money. What did you say? Yeah, I was uh, I was warming up talking to myself. You know, I, I have these times when I just tell myself and build myself confidence up. And I be um, I was talking to myself and I said, it's time to make this money for. It. And uh, everybody called me for on my team. See, everybody like the media called me tank, but I call myself poor sometimes. And uh, like I said, it's time to make this money for it. And, uh, I locked in and I just blocked all the noise out and just went went ahead and did what I had to do. You said you call yourself, what did you say? I call myself four, the number four. four. They'd be like, what's up, four? What's up, four? Yeah, so like the guys on the team, yeah. they'd be like, four, 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 what's up, four? And, uh, and they call me tank too, but just a quick term of four, They because I've always been number four, and they call me four. Yeah. Well, you ran about a four. You ran about, I mean, the camera could not keep up with you when you were smoke. I mean, it was amazing. And then the other thing is you have a, 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 a college legend, but an NFL legend in his own right, Cam Newton out there, an MVP in the National Football League. Uh, and he was there yesterday. He, you know, he, he wants to get back into the NFL as well. What did you notice or pick up from just being around him even? What was that experience like? 
he's himself, you know, he's comfortable wherever he at because he's a, he's like he's himself and um he always bring it energy, he always been positive. You know, uh, when he was throwing the ball, he dapped me up and he was like, let's go, bro. And I'm like, yeah, let's go. And um, it's just being around an Auburn legend who did it before me, that speaks about Auburn and let you know how we are. We're family, we always can come back to each other. We like a brotherhood. And um, Cam Newton, is, he's a great guy. Uh, his energy great. He had told the people, he said, hey, man, it's dead. They had turned some music on. So they, they had turned the music on. <laughs> he just started doing his thing. I mean, he, they call him Superman. I don't know if everyone can see if you can lift up your shirt. That's, you've got the anti-hero. You're rocking the Spawn villain vibes on the show this morning. What's that about? Uh, I like, <laughs> I like graphic, sh graphic shirts a lot. Um, I've got a, I have a lot of them and, um, you know, I'm just a graphic guy and uh, I wear a different type of stuff. My favorite hero is probably Batman, you know, cause he just was different, sneaky and, uh, kind of low key. He wasn't in the mix everywhere, flying everywhere, shooting people with spider webs and stuff like that. So he was, um, that was my favorite hero growing up. But I just, I love graphics. I love stuff that, that means something or, you know, you can tell like it catch your attention. Yeah. You're a graphic guy. You're a speed guy. You're also a family guy. We're going to talk about that because you and your mom, uh, you guys grew up in LaGrange with your family. And when that moment comes and you're with them, I, I, I heard that you'll be decided hanging out with them there on draft weekend. What's the one word to describe what it will be like taking that moment in with them when you find out where you're going to go? Uh, I'm sure it'll be a, a feeling that you can't explain. You know, you've been working all your life to get where you're trying to be at right now. You know, out of 100 percent of people, it's one percent lead. It's a one percent lead. You know, not, a lot of people don't get this opportunity. And I feel like that that right there would be a feeling that no one can understand. Like, it's just a feeling like when I go out there on the football field, a feeling pop up that's unexplainable. And um, I'd be so happy, you know, wordless. And, um, you know, I, I know my mom going to be right by my side. That's like my best friend. And, um, you know, we we've overcame a lot of things and adversity. So I feel, I feel like it's going to be great for us. Do you think you'll, you should go number one at the running back position? Does it matter to you and, or what is important to you about that night and where you go? You know, just getting in a great scheme and, uh, if I can be me, you know, uh, play ball. I want to play ball for a long time. I want to get around guys that actually love football, that actually want to be where they at, where they feed at. And um, you know, you know, people um people ask those questions all the time about how you feel about the process, how you feel about your ranking, how you feel about I really I never been the guy to type pay attention to those things. And I just I like to show up and do what I have to do and uh be my best every time I get an opportunity because you never know it's when you're last you never know when it's your last opportunity to play football. And um so I always just Every time I get an opportunity, I try to go 150% every time. Is there something you want, you know, coaches will see this. This will be all over Twitter, of course. It'll be, you know, we're, we're live on a show. These guys are looking, and I know that they've picked apart everything, your combine interviews, all of that. What do you want everybody out there to know when they're making these decisions on their board about what is special about Tank? Well, you're getting the best player like me. I'm bringing my best every day. Um, I'm the type of guy try to be as consistent as I can be. And 150%, um, like I was just saying, I go hard every day. That's the only stride I know. Yesterday I was doing receiver work, and then I had to go right to running back work. work. And then they was like, you want a break? I was like, nah, we can keep going. We can keep going. Let's get it. And um, just working, you know, I'm a, I love the work. I want to be around guys that love the work too. So when you get in me, you get in one of the best, and you're going to get my best effort every time. You're wearing the Spawn villain shirt. We're talking superheroes. We're talking Batman, all of that. What is Tank Bigsby's superpower? What is your, like, best thing, your best skill that you would say that is? My best skill, I would say, is, like, on the field or off the field? What would you say? Either. Either? Well, I feel like I can really cook. <laughs> but on the field, I feel like a beast. You know, I feel like... I can run through people. I feel like I can run past people. I feel like I can juke people. Uh, I feel like just elusive. I feel great on the field. It's like, like you said, it's like a power just go behind your blood and you're just like, okay, it's time to go. <laughs> 
Now, does you mean you could cook like you cook on the field or you can cook, cook like in the kitchen too? Both. <laughs> I can what do is, both. What is the go-to meal? Uh, I love to cook pasta. You know, we cook all types of pastas and, uh, uh, I don't, I don't, I never really grill my steaks. I put them in the oven and I like leave them out all night and I like make them soft. I tender them and all that stuff and I just put them in the oven and they'd be real tender and they'd be great, you know. Wow, penne a la tank. Listen, there's 32 teams that need running backs, and you're talking about a guy who can cook. Your mom obviously taught you well. You've got your head on straight. You've got, I can tell that you've got a, you, you're a hard worker. You've got a chip on your shoulder, though. Like, you, I know that you want, you want what you want, and you're going to go get it, and you can cook on the field as well. Four, four-ish, 40 at your pro day yesterday with Auburn. You're going to be in front of the media a lot, and you're going to handle it really well in the league over the next couple of years. But I'm going to be, we're going to do a quick uh, one minute rapid fire as many questions as you can answer. They're all super fun. So uh, these are sort of just to get to know you and get your favorites. Okay, let's get a minute on the clock. Favorite cheat meal? Uh, you said favorite cheat meal? Yeah. Uh, I, said, I go, I probably go get Chipotle. Chipotle, I like that. Favorite workout? Uh, I would say leg day. Okay. Favorite NFL player of all time? Todd Gurley. <laughs> wow. Favorite NFL team? Atlanta Falcons. Okay. Uh, who wins Who wins in a race in their prime? Bo Jackson or Deion Sanders? Bo Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Auburn! Uh, <laughs> Apple Music or Spotify? I say Apple Music. Wow, wow, you're the one. Wow. Favorite superhero? Uh, Batman. Favorite show right now? Uh, BML. <laughs> I've never even heard of that. What is that? I don't even know what that is. What is that? Oh, my God. You have to look it up. It's a great show. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's what a is great it show. called? BML. BML. I got to write it down. I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah. Okay. Tank Bigsby, you are going to crush it in the NFL. I already know you're going to be on my fantasy team. I already know. I already know. Go get in the best scheme. Have the best time. We will support you. We're so excited to have you in the NFL. Congratulations on your pro day show out for Auburn just yesterday. And hopefully you can get some rest. Thank you, Tank. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Great to meet you. We are now Tank fans here on the show. We will be back right here on Up and Adams. Lots of uh, fun guests. Kareem Jackson might join us. You might have Gronk on the show. Do not go anywhere. <laughs>